Hey guys, J Dub here, at Dubs Customs. Just because you can't see me doesn't mean I'm not here. And today we're going to take a little closer in depth look at flirting with disaster, some of the things I enjoyed building, and some of the things I really like about them. Let's check this out. So, of course, we're running the skinnies, traditional gasser style. One of my favorite features that always catches my eye are these one off headers right here. I'm quite proud of those. And of course, cash and hot. Don't want anybody to get burnt. We're going after the bomber theme on this, guys. World War II, B-17 bomber. And obviously that's why we've got the silver aluminum look with the rivets. And this is a wrap, guys. It turned out pretty sick, if you ask me. Flirt with Disaster is sporting some 33 tall, 21 wide Mickey Thompsons. It's getting close to four feet of rubber on the ground. She hooks up pretty good. Another one of my favorite parts is the inside of the box. And all this, I really had to think outside the box because it was kind of sprung on me last minute where we just didn't have enough of this aluminum wrap to do the whole job. So this is what I come up with. It's inside a fuselage, some ammo boxes along the side. That's supposed to represent the inside of the fuselage. And then we've got the bomber doors wide open, bombs dropping, and just a big action scene. Where you put the fuel. Tailgate was fun to build. Built another stamp for that. Stamp the W in. Love custom. Will 47 for the year. Getting those big, fat, beautiful boots. We we're really going after the bomber theme on this truck, obviously. Inside, like always, Dubs Customs, one of one, flirting with disaster. Gotta have the bomber style gauges. All the switches. Just like when you fire up an airplane, got to switch those switches. And then of course, we've got the armed light when everything's ready to go and she's ready to make some fire. Super clean, straight to the point, pretty plain, just like a bomber cockpit would be. Bomber girl, can't miss that. And the bombs signifying that flirt with disaster for 13 missions. Under the hood here, guys, is an Edelbrock 350 E Force Enforcer crate engine. A little blower on there, dual four barrels. 520 horse look at that header just wild so what i ended up doing is i extended them out but put a nice little support bracket right there that's taking the weight to hold these massive headers and then obviously there's another exhaust mount under there They're one of a kind, took me about 10 days to build those headers, but they turned out sick. Another thing I really like about this truck is how it doesn't have leaf springs. We decided to upgrade to these QA1 coilovers and it kind of, in my mind, is more like a modern gasser old school. You would have had the leaf spring would have come all the way out. It would have been the furthest thing in front of the tire. And now the 
the tire is the furthest thing forward on Slurp of Disaster. And you gotta have the sight to sight in the finish line. Because when you're in first, you don't have a car to follow. And that's it guys, flirt with disaster. Another sweet little Dubs Customs build. You guys be safe out there. Peace.